Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to draw. Just the basics. This is a Dave Fleischman, the Free Radical. I'm an artist, caricature artist. Please follow, subscribe. I'm going to teach you how to draw now. Um, basically, to start out, nothing really complicated. Just let's uh, make a little border line. And this is the most basic drawing exercise there is. This is the, the one you start with when you start to learn how to draw. And why? I'm going to talk about that. Well, basically because you have to learn how to draw lines. This is what you're going to be doing, drawing lines. If you want to draw, it's going to be lines that you're going to draw. And just go around the border, kind of go in a little spiral shape. And uh, you don't have to make them straight. But uh, just get used to drawing lines. Why, why, why are we uh, doing this? What, just basically taking a piece of paper and you're just going to screw it up. You're going to mess it up, make a mess, and ruin it. So it can't be used for anything else useful. But this is an exercise in learning how to breach the wall that is this blank paper, this blank slate that you need to fill with your art and with your line. And uh, it can be a little daunting. A big, a big blank canvas, a big blank slate can be a little daunting and you're not sure what to you know, put there. Sometimes you have a little drawer's block, artist's block if you will, writer's block. And this kind of uh, bypasses that. Just start with this. So you don't have to think about it. You don't have to. Uh, you can get get out of your head that way and just kind of get into a meditative state where you're just making the line, just making the line, and just getting into the line. And what is this line? And this is your voice as an artist. You're gonna learn how to make your voice as an artist. <clears throat> your uh, your voice as an artist is a line, is seen, is a visual voice, and you're gonna learn how to make it. Uh, different shapes. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use a pencil, you can use anything you want. A pen, whatever you like, but uh, a pencil is good to start with. But when you do, make jaggedy lines, if you want. Make kind of a random pattern of lines. A random walk, if you will. Make up and down like a castle wall, if you want. This is all up to you. I'm just giving you suggestions. You can make a loopy line, like a circle. Why, why would you want to make all these lines? This is just defining all the different textures and all the different ways and things that you can express and capture with your line. Now when you look back at these lines, you see they have sort of these inherent emotions to them. I can make this kind of a line. You can kind of tell what I'm feeling with that one. And I can make it like this and that has a different kind of a feel to it, doesn't it? So uh, pretty soon I'm kind of filling up this whole page and you're going to do the same. And don't worry about the border anymore. Just kind of go wherever you want. You can cross the lines if you want. This exercise is just about freedom of expression and just don't even worry about it. Don't even, uh, just get out of your head basically is the idea here. Because getting into your head is getting into your left brain basically. Getting into your brain of sequence and data and information and um, chronology and things like that. And we want to get into the right brain where everything's kind of holistic and everything's visual and everything's kind of vague and miasmic. And I, we kind of like that state for drawing and for music and things like that. So anyway, here we are. We're all done. And uh, once you got this much, well, you can always sort of find little pictures in there if you want. There we go. There's a little guy. Little alien guy there. And see, so we end up with a little doodle and a little new character. Boom. So that's your exercise. So that's just kind of getting loose getting the feel of the paper, the feel of your line, and testing it out, trying it out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.